Whatever you're doing, do not click away from this video. I swear, if you do, you will greatly regret it. Why? Oh, because I think today's episode is quite possibly going to be one of the coolest I've ever done in this series. Um, and the reason for that is that the cross mod integration today is going to blow your mind. I, whoa, creepy leaf flying outside my window in real life. Just totally scared the crap out of me. So, um, what am I g getting all up about, huh? Archimedes ships. We, <laughs> um, I woke up this morning, uh, sorry, yesterday morning. I woke up yesterday morning with the most amazing plan in my mind. The most amazing plan. We need air balloons. We need lots of air balloons. What are we doing? What, Chip, what are you doing? You guys are going to love this. Ever dreamt of a, because I have, ever dreamt of circle, uh, a flyable circle magic? <gasps> yeah. The title of the episode is really gonna say all. Um, today's episode, we make a flying witch's hat. One in which I can perform mobile circle magic on, by, by flying. I could just, it'll be like a mo mobile base, right? I tested out some stuff in creative mode. Sorry, I'm gathering ingredients right here. Um, this is boring. I'm making air balloons. Um, and what I'm going to do over the course of this episode today is make a 3D witch hat that, um, honestly, let me show, uh, let's finish this really quick. Of course I go, oh, this opening segment will be like a minute and then I'll go do something else. Nope, it's gonna be longer than that. Um, armor stand, oh, bibliocraft, no, no, no. I need the one from, ah, uh, right here. Okay, I want you to check this out, okay? I want you to, I want you to see this. Picture a flying ship that looks like this, okay? And inside there's enough space to do the largest circle of circle magic. I can do it all. There's an altar in there, there's everything. There's, there's plants to provide my altar with power. It's got it all. Envision that with, with me for a second. Do that, I'm gonna make an edit and we'll be right back. Okay, good, I'm glad you've had time to think on that. Um, we're gonna perform a little test for those that don't believe that for those of you that are non-believers at this point, we're gonna perform um, a little test here. I'm going to show you very small scale what this is going to be, and then I'm going to jump off. Um, by jump off, I mean I am going to make an edit. You guys will, in like a second, after I'm done with this, see the finished product, because I'm not gonna build it on camera. Um, it would be, uh, it would be very, um, boring, probably, as I sit here for hours just trying to figure out, oh, what do I do? How do I build this? How do I make this look right? No, I'm gonna show you guys the finish, the final product, um, and wow you with it, because I really wanna spend a lot of time on it and really make it look good. So, am I looking at the right, the right size here? I think I am, I think I am. Uh, let's just put a little, like, front lip on this, just for, just for fun, okay? Made a helm for Archimedes ships, all right? Got this, now check this out. Um, right click on this and you can fly with this, okay? You can, I know you can't see, right, because I'm an owl and I'm very small. You press shift to dismount. Now here, <laughs> here's what's gonna blow your mind. Hold on to your seat. Circle magic, small scale. Now watch, I was worried. I was very worried before I tested this out that this wouldn't stay. No, baby. This stays. We're flying right now. Look what's here. The circle glyphs. Look at that. Now, the only thing that doesn't work, I can place alter. Oh, God, I'll just show you. Oh, this is going to freak you out and blow your mind. Okay? It's blowing my mind. We've got minimal power up here, Bar barely nothing. Do this. Now, I was really worried that the altar wasn't gonna attach. Archimedes, sir, you sir Archimedes, whatever your mod creator name is, I love you. I reviewed your mod a while back. I loved it. 
I've been avoiding it th thus far in this series because I was just like, ah, it's something I'll do down the road. Today's the day because look at this. Look at this, the altar stays and the candelabra. Everything you put on top of the altar stays. Now the only thing you gotta be careful with, if I right click on this, it was crashing my client earlier. All I need to do is destroy the altar one block, put it back, and you start generating altar power again. <laughs> right? Right? So, through the magic of editing, the next thing you guys will see will be probably a giant witch's hat that's like a mobile base for myself. And then we're gonna go do some test runs with it, because it's gonna be a blasty blast. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna go have fun building this, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so it is the next day in real world time. Um, but before I show you guys my new flying witch hat, uh, I, <laughs> I have to report a break-in and thief-ing. Thiefing. Break-in and thiefing. Good English, Jim. Good job. Uh, whoa, Burp City. I haven't had one of those in a while. Yikes, my apologies. Um, okay. Generic B supposedly the other day broke into my house and this fool broke down my iron door. He didn't even put it back. He did- This dude has some balls, I swear. He comes in and puts a boss in my base, then breaks in and steals half of my XP tank. This thing was full! It was absolutely full. So I'm gonna have to work on getting this back. Um, I'm not actually all that mad. I, I just- I was just busting on him the other day in Skype <laughs> because I was like, dude, you got- you got a pair on you, you know? You put a- put a boss in my base, you are really asking for it. Oh, and here's the other thing too, by the way. Um, after the prank the other day, uh, we were all talking in our, uh, a Skype chat that we have, and he was like, uh, let the record show that Paul's prank was way worse than mine, and that my punishment should be less severe. Um, I don't know about that now. You just broke in and stole half my XP. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that is going to warrant a bit more punishment than what I would have given you. So, take that, sir. <laughs> also, I don't think, I don't think it's right of me to tell you guys how to do this because it, it's kind of a glitch. And I don't like expo exploiting glitches, um, really. Or at least showing how to exploit them, per se. But there is a current, there is a way right now to enchant these ender backpacks. Normally when you break them, I don't want to do it because it could go anywhere. Normally when you just break these normally, it'll go and it'll teleport some random direction. There is a way, if you want to know how, go out on the internet, look it up possibly. There is a way to enchant these ender backpacks um, customly. Uh, you can custom enchant them with books. Or whatever you can if there's a way to get them as an item in your in your inventory You can't normally get them as an item, but there is a way in this mod pack to do it. I have protection for on this one um, I think because I've got three of these what I'm going to do is probably enchant these two and then sell them in my shop my my uh, the shop I'm gonna be building in town um, for fun, so uh, selling them for a high price um, Since they'll be enchanted or something cool like that. Okay, so now on to what we've been waiting for, what you guys have been waiting for. Let me just show you this. You guys see this right here? You guys see this giant black thing? Good, I'm glad you see it. Cause it's my new, my brand new airship. Let's go, let's go have a look, shall we? <laughs> I'll just let you see it and then I'm gonna talk about it. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> Check this out! I modeled it after a witch's hat, a 3D witch's hat. Uh, how cool is this? Right? Very, very simple, very basic, very blocky, just like Minecraft. Um, but check this out, baby! My new airship of evilness and doom. And circle magic and spells and all sorts of... Just... Mobile portable witchery. It's... <laughs> It's gonna be great! Um, so, just so you know, what kind of, like, you know, grief I went through to make this thing. All day yesterday. All. Day. This took me all day. I was on the server all day. And I first, I messed up. I had to destroy the whole ship. I built, like, all the bottom part and then all of this, plus all of this top part, like, the air balloons here. I didn't build these top two sections here. 
Um, but I built like the whole bottom half, tried to test fly it, and it I was too low to the ground. It got caught on a bunch of blocks. I didn't have any shore buffers down. <laughs> it was a nightmare. So I had to destroy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and start all the way over. Not to mention, I had to get all of the ink and all of the wool for all of these air balloons. And that took a long time. Thank goodness for the auto spawner. I ended up just catching a squid and then auto spawning it and breeding it and like getting a bunch of them and then killing them all and getting a bunch of ink. It was crazy. It took me all day. All day. Now, in vanilla Minecraft, the witch is sort of wear these types of hats that have this like striped band around them with like a little green dot in the middle. I decided, hey, I want to use a lime green inverted lamp like I have in my armory to make this thing complete. So let's check this out. I've got some windows on the side to provide a little bit of light. We're going to go inside uh, and entry through the top here. This is the <laughs> where I will fire off some spells. It's going to be great. Um, and what's even cooler about this is like these glow globes, they travel with my ship. So when you're traveling, lights are off. Like this light will go off when you're traveling. When you stop, it'll turn back on. So let's take it for a fly. What do you guys say? I think what we should do today, what I would like to do is we're going to take it for our, our test flight, our first test flight and our first test spell, okay? We're going to be doing some circle magic from above and we're going to be changing uh, uh, We're going to be doing two right of shifting seasons from within this thing. It is going to be amazing. I Like ah, uh, like I said it, earlier in the episode, which was filmed yesterday. I woke up yesterday With this idea and now it's it's a reality because this thing flies and it makes me so happy So let's take a look at the map before we do this, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something. Right, let's just let's fly. Right click on this. We're now flying. You can see I'm turning the ship here. Uh, let's fly over to here, and I want to show you guys something that has always bothered me about what I picked my location here. That will be no more today. Absolutely no more. So let's park her over here. Watch. You guys are going to love this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so there we go. The ship has now been parked over here. It is massive. By the way, it's larger than my tower in terms of like width, um, like just the surface area is larger. It fits the biggest circle from uh, Witchery and then also two blocks wider. So it's just like one strip on the outside wider than my tower, which I think is just unbelievable. Okay, so here's one thing that's always bugged me about where I place my location. The ability to see very easily <clears throat> into my biome, okay? And see what I'm looking at. Now, it's been great for me personally when I'm building to uh, step back, fly out of the biome and sort of get a good glimpse from afar and see what my tower looks like, like from right here. But in terms of defense, that looks sick. <laughs> that looks so sick oh man i just i love this tower so much um but what i would like to do is change some of the surrounding area sort of right in here possibly even out here and up here to ominous woods <laughs> why because it's going to be a lot harder to see my tower look at that you come in just a little bit off the biome there and it's already fog okay um so what are we gonna do how are we gonna do this baby we're gonna do the right of shifting seasons okay now i've tested a bit of this out um very exciting stuff here uh, i tested a bit of this out <laughs> the other day mm, look at that i did four of these suckers um, they make circles, obviously they make the, you know, big, big, big circle, but this right here is all ominous woods and I am feeling so evil right now. Uh, so unbelievably evil. Oh, I don't even have the ingredients. I didn't prepare. Okay. I'm going to have to do that. Um, I'm going to go grab those actually, and we'll be back and I'm going to perform this here. So hold on one second. Okay guys. So I'm back. Uh, I've got the necessary ingredients. Where's my ship? This thing is so big. Um, when I, I'm gonna be keeping it up high, uh, by the way, 
as to avoid it touching anything else. One thing I'm worried about is like these clouds, but it looks like I'm underneath all of them here. Because these are actually blocks. These are cloud blocks from Natura. Um, so, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead here and take a little gander. Um, we're going to take a gander at the uh, Book of Biomes, okay? Because I was looking through these the other night thinking, okay, where is... Um, I was like, where is the... Um, ominous woods in a forest, right? I was like, this has to be a forest, right? It's a woods, it's a forest. Where is it on the list here, and how much glowstone do I need to put in for this right? Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. It's actually at the end of the book, underneath the magic section. Uh, magical biomes, so there's magical biomes. The, the foci is a skeleton skull, um, and you've got cherry blossom groves, fungi forest, garden, mystic grove, thin mystic grove, ominous woods, thick ominous woods, Wondrous Woods. I don't know what these are. I kind of want to make one at some point. Oh, here's the other thing though. Here, here's the other thing. A Majestic Meadow, Sublime Shrubland, Blessed Bog, and Sacred Springs. A lot of people were saying, um, Chimney, just change an ocean biome. Like, I saw a comment, Chimney, change an ocean biome to a kelp biome. It only changes the biome properties. It doesn't actually, um, put into the biome and grow what that biome has. So even though I'm standing here saying, oh, I wonder what the Wondrous Woods is, the all I would see from that, if I changed the biome into that, would be basically what sort of biome effects it has. The trees are gonna stay the same. They'll change leaf color, the grass will change leaf color. If I change it to an Ominous Woods, it'll get that really thick fog. Um, it'll change what mobs spawn. Um, like my biome, the Ominous Woods, only spawns like Endermen and Cave Spiders. It's like the two most horrible mobs ever. Um, and, but other than that, the the ground is going to stay the same. So if you take a look like up here, this was a previous, um, uh, whatever this is, it's sort of a swampy biome here. You can see on the map, it shows all this stuff is still green. It's not. The the dirt is, is actually that dark dirt color like I have in my biome. Um, but all the foliage is still the same. It's it's The foliage that's generated here is the same as would be generated in the swamp biome. Uh, likewise, I even did this a little bit further north um, to give you guys a better perspective um, on this point. Wow, look at that. That little like lava lake looks like a heart. That's cute. Uh, <laughs> so this is a big ominous woods biome up north up here. And over here is like a desert with some like shrubs and stuff. You can see that there's still sand on the ground. Um, it doesn't take away the sand and replace with anything else. Now in this circle here, it's very, very thick fog and there are endermen and cave spiders that spawn, but you still got like a palm tree right here. So it doesn't actually give you, um, you know, the uh, exact, like it's not gonna pop up dark, uh, dark trees. And you guys will see that here when I changed this area into this as well. So here we go, enough suspense. Throw in this, 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 and we need six glowstone because, I'll show you, right here, six ominous woods, so six glowstone. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So let's take this, chuck that out of there. We need our seer stone. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Unknown right for reals No, what did I what am I for? Oh spider eye I forgot the spider eye right here the um, Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like I'm forgetting something here. There we go. Okay. That should do it Aha. Oh, yeah <laughs> Yes, okay, I'm laughing because one this is so evil and two um, sometimes on these Archimedes ships, the rights work like super fast. Did you hear that there? All, my old coven showed up, it's like doop, 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 and look how fast they disappeared. It's crazy, it's like rapid fire. Earlier I did it and it was normal speed, but last night the two tests that I did were rapid fire. So here's what I'm gonna do. Map is, is freaking out. Uh, I need to re-log in order for that to stay. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I am back and uh, you'll see here that the bio, oh, where's the up, right here that the biome has changed, so let's go ahead and flip this on. Ominous Woods, we're in the Ominous Woods biome still. The map is still showing, um, you know, some greens and stuff, um, which is fine, that is totally fine, um, but the fog has now spread 
further. So look at this, okay? Look at this. It's quite a bit harder now from this angle to see my tower. Pretty cool. And this whole area is now ominous woods. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that the, the grass has changed color. Um, we got cave spiders and endermen spawning in. <laughs> but all the swamp trees that were here before are still here, like I said. Um, these dark trees, these are generated from an actually generated ominous woods biome um, when generated from the actual world. But how cool is that? Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's do another one, shall we? Why not? This is the, this is the episode where we do this. Um, and boy, is this ship going to have a lot of uses. It is going to have many, many, many uses. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and steer this baby around. Uh, oh, no, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I want to bring this bad boy over here. So let's fly over here. Now, there's an engine block with the Archimedes ship mod, but it currently doesn't have a crafting recipe. The engines supposedly make the... Um, uh, let's go ahead and park this right here. Uh, the Yeah, I always take like a little weird bit of damage there. The engine supposedly makes the ships fly faster. Um, however, it's not craftable right now, um, which is a bummer. All right, wetland. Wetland is the current biome. Um, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, let me show you guys. If you don't know, let's do... Archimedes. I did a mod review on this a while back. Was really, really excited to build this ship yesterday, by the way. Uh, here you go, engine. I'm clicking on this, and there's no recipe. All these other ones uh, have recipes. So, no recipe for this. Um, even on their website, it says that they don't have a recipe yet. So, uh, a bit of a bummer, but once those do get added, which is hopefully will be soon, I'm just, I, I don't know that for a fact. I'm just hoping, um, literally hoping. Uh, that uh, we'll add those and then this ship will be quite a bit faster. So, oh, that's seven. We don't want seven. Although, actually, seven would be a thick ominous woods. Let's just keep it as ominous woods. So here we go. Six there. Here we go, rapid fire. <laughs> I love that. Boom. Changed. Okay. So, um, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna need to re-log again so that the map can update. That seems to be the really only thing that's gonna get this to work. Let me just wait till my coven goes away. There we go. All right, so I'll re-log and be right back. All right, back once again. And wow, I'm looking at the map and it changed it, but it still looks very green, which is a little deceptive actually. It's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> but look how the darkness is spreading here. Can you guys begin to think and see the possibilities? The, can you feel the evil? Can ya? Cause it's great! Okay, so normally out here, ladies and gentlemen, you'd be able to look this way and see my tower. You can just barely see it through the fog right there. When I'm under that ship, it provides like a shadow on my hand too, that's really awesome. So all this ominous woods now, look at that. I changed the whole thing. Now you can see it from out here, but of course we can spread all the darkness all the way out to here. I could. I can do this as long as I've got the, the ingredients, which the ingredients are expensive as heck. Uh, as long as I've got them, I can do this right um, multiple times, okay? So, and we can do it for any biome, honestly. Um, there's, there's 36 pages in here of all sorts of different biomes. Like Frozen, dude, Frozen would be sweet. Um, doing some stuff with that. This right is becoming one of my favorite rights Ever and I'm excited. Ooh, I wonder what it did to the uh, Tinker's Island up here if it did anything at all I don't think it did. No, it didn't. We just got a little slime jumping around um, so <laughs> Swifters, thank you guys for joining me on the maiden voyage of my new witch hat sh witch hat witch hat ship. I don't know what to call it I'm gonna come up with a creative name um, but I am very happy. I'm very happy because this ship is going to provide a lot of fun for me. And I think a lot of fun for you as well as the viewer. We're going to have a lot of fun in this ship. And I'm not done building it, by the way. 
It's, um, it's very, uh, oh goodness. I'm taking, I'm suffocating. Okay, I'm suffocating. Yikes. That's not, that's never fun. Um, I'm not done building this, okay? I'm not done building this. Uh, I'm gonna be experimenting with different types of blocks and different types of things. The outside, I think, is pretty much set. Um, in terms of the inside, so the way Archimedes ships uh, works is you need 40% of the overall structure to be made up of air balloons. That's why I have these air balloons here. That's why I have a strip of air balloons underneath here. I tried to sneak in as many air balloons as I could and also I've got air balloons in here um, as well as down the center uh, part right there. And behind here, all air balloons. All on the inside here, you'll see. The whole thing filled in right here is air balloons. Now, I do have a potential if I figure out the, uh, the ratio. I might be able to put a, another room in here, which would be really cool. Could throw some elevators in, teleport up and down, kind of like my normal tower. Uh, so we've got the advantage of that. But um, for the most part, it's a mobile uh, circle magic ship. That's that's the point of this. That's the purpose of it. But um, it's awesome. Like Stuff like uh, glass panes fly with it. Even the glyphs, the ritual glyphs fly with this as well, which just blows my mind. I mean, <laughs> that is so awesome. But you know, we can put some little decorations in here. I've got some ideas possibly, um, if we put an altar in here, um, we might be able to put some plants in here. I tested it in creative, it does fly with plants. So you can put some plants in here, try and maybe have some, um, a little bit more like uh, nature to fuel um, my altar and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, this is the ship. There's not a whole lot of room to work with, but um, if you guys want to sort of Compare this to what I compared it to. Take a look at this, okay? Hold still. And we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna show you guys just how close I think I got this. Because I'm quite happy with it. Look at that. This is, oh. Oh, I know what I did. Um, on this hat, the little band is around the top part. I threw the band down this part right here. Because uh, that's how it looked with the uh, when I looked at like the, the witch model on the Minecraft wiki. But yeah, I mean like look, that's a perfect representation I think of my new ship, which is just really awesome. So if you like it <laughs> and you like what we're gonna use it for, please hit that like button. Um, go nuts, because when people see this rolling in, they're gonna be freaked out. So that's gonna do it for today's episode, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it lived up to all expectations. Um, I'm so happy with this right now. It's not even funny. I'm gonna go have some fun with this But uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow and also I think there might be I hopefully if I get my button gear I uh, want to put out a video today because tomorrow ladies and gentlemen Elder Scrolls online if you pre-ordered you get access the five days early access starts tomorrow and tomorrow starts my long 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 campaign um, the one I've been waiting for for like over a year to do Elder Scrolls Online content on my channel. I really hope that you guys check it out. Uh, not just like the first episode, but like hopefully you enjoy it and stick with the series. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have a lot of, be playing with a lot of friends and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to be on the lookout for that tomorrow and I will see you guys next time. Peace.